it's Jeanette J Beauty and welcome to my channel. I wanted to make another video about my weight loss journey because based off my last video where I talked about how I lost 50 pounds in two months, many of you seem to be very interested, very motivated, encouraged, and just interested in what I have to say. That video now has 280,000 views and I just really thank you for all your support, your ongoing continued love and motivation. It really keeps me energized and encouraged to make these types of videos. Now with that being said, I wanted to preface this video in saying that my normal weight is about 140 to 150 pounds also I am a mother of four children I have three boys and one girl they are the love of my life and I just want to give you a little bit of background information about me because that can tell you a little bit about how I'm going to my new goal of losing all this weight and just how I'm able to do it more effectively efficiently and not gain the weight back I do want to give you enough information so that after you've watched it you can feel like you've gained some knowledge and just you know not just watch the video for the sake of watching it because it's like 10 minutes or under and I know many of you that click this video you're gonna want the short answer and it is that I went to the gym three to five times a week and I spent an hour and a half to two hours so I do take a cardio class that lasts for one hour and then right after that I go on the machines and it can take half an hour to an hour just depending on how busy it is and if I have to wait on any of the machines and sometimes I'll just go on another machine in the meantime until the machine I want opens up and I also adapted more of a vegan lifestyle within my diet now I'm not a vegan or a vegetarian by any means but what I'm saying is I'm eating predominantly fruits vegetables and nuts and skipping out on dairy as much as possible there's so many good options for you to eat and I'm not talking about alternatives like vegan alternatives like the vegan cheese or vegan spread I'm talking about food that just has vegetables and like entrees made with vegetables I just wanted to say this very quickly for those of you that want a really short concise answer to how I lost 80 pounds in four months but if you care to hear about my experience also some encouraging words some tips for starting out and also more in depth about this whole journey then keep on watching all right so now into the meat and potatoes of how I lost 80 pounds in four months this is definitely doable and looking over all my pictures and notes that I have taken I went all the way up to 293 pounds I think in my last video I said 284 85 pounds but looking back in my notes I was actually 293 pounds and my mom she thought I was pregnant and I knew the way I kept going I'm going to be 300 pounds probably the next week and that's just not what I wanted for myself I knew I wasn't healthy and I knew I just felt like I had let myself go based off of like I'm doubling what I was a few years ago and it's just I just didn't feel good about myself and I didn't take a lot of pictures and a lot of people were like oh you look so nice and oh you dress nice but for me looking internally I didn't feel good about myself and looking in the mirror I just didn't feel good and after my second son I was going up and down with weight because I was modeling and I was 114 pounds and that's a whole nother story within itself I didn't lose weight necessarily the healthy way initially I was but when it came down to like the last 20 pounds I didn't do it so good and I just put my body through it I'll say that and since I put my body through that terrible experience I have learned a lot what my body can take what I should be giving my body and what I should not be allowing for my body because I want to be healthy overall so after I, I lose this weight and get back down to my goal of 140 pounds I'm not just going to stop this is a lifelong goal like this is a continuation I love what I I do I love my lifestyle my diet lifestyle everything I am enjoying and that's number one I want to make sure that I enjoyed I don't want to do a fad diet because it's not sustainable when I was pregnant I always wanted a girl so I have three boys and my daughter after my third one I wanted to try again and my mental evaluation like how I kept thinking was I didn't want to lose all this weight after my third son and then get pregnant gain the weight back then have to go all the way back down so for me that was kind of my justification on why I stayed over 200 pounds for so long because after him I wanted to get pregnant and have a daughter and my plan worked I pretty much ate whatever I want I was thinking this is gonna be it once I go to the gym once I go on my fitness journey I'm not gonna be doing any more of this let me just take advantage of this time now and I went from I'll say like 220 pounds with her being pregnant 
all the way to like 260, 70 pounds. And then after she was born, I lost a little weight and then I just kept going. I just wasn't motivated. I wasn't encouraged. My lifestyle, being with my children and not really working and then sometimes working, it was just a whole mess. I didn't have a balanced routine and now I do, but that is something that I needed to change in order for things to get better. I didn't wanna give this lifestyle up. It is so hard. I was comfortable, but at the same time, I wasn't comfortable with what I saw in the mirror. My mind was kind of like, Jeanette, you need to get this together. You know, you do have a family history of heart disease and diabetes on my father's side, and that's just not what I wanted. I knew I was healthy because on the same year, I've taken blood tests, I don't have any diseases, I don't have high blood pressure, heart disease, I don't have any of that, but I knew continuing on this path could be lethal, and I just didn't want this. I wanna get back into that femininity, back into the groove where I felt just so good with myself, and that's what I inspired to do. So I kept looking at gym pictures, I kept looking at other people, and what they were doing I was just motivated but not so motivated but I knew I had to make a plan that was step number one to devise a plan that was going to be sustainable not a fad diet not something that you know maybe I could do or it was whatever no I needed to do something concrete and that's what I decided to do so in my mind I knew I had to go to the gym and the gym that I go to is I would say more expensive compared to other gyms, but I knew one that paying this price, I would more likely go to the gym. So back then I said I'd pay 130, but since I've added my two babies on, now I pay $160 a month. But I feel that it is worth it because one, now I do take my children to the gym and I also work out now, I would say four to five times a week. So I am seeing the results. I'm seeing the weight loss. I'm seeing my face, my body. It just looks a whole lot better and I'm seeing what I want to see, and I know you don't have to go to the gym, but again, I'm gonna talk about what I did. So I lost the 80 pounds in four months. I went to the gym and I had a personal trainer. We talked about what I wanted to do, but ultimately I knew it was up to me. Like no one is going to lose the weight for me. It's not like I could drop my body off at the gym and then my body does the workout and then I pick it up and you know, I'm benefiting from the results. No, that's not how it works. So I just knew it was up to me to go. Now, secondly, I had to change my diet. That is really important. I believe diet and exercise, those are pretty much the two key components to losing weight, especially if you wanna lose it quickly. You have to eat very healthy. And when I say healthy, I'm not talking about those quote unquote healthy foods like soy. Soy is not an ingredient that you should be putting into your body based off of research and history that I've learned. So I've eliminated a lot from my diet. So anytime I can cut around having dairy, I definitely will. I'll substitute it for something else. Just like at the gym, I do have a shake and they do have milk in it, but instead I get the vegan vanilla protein. So instead of having the milk base, I have a plant base. So anytime that I can go around and have a plant based or a vegan alternative, that is where I turn to the meat. I don't have a lot of chicken. I do have seafoods here and there. I have made a couple of videos on what I like to eat. I will link it up here. And that's pretty much it. Implementing more of that lifestyle is definitely more beneficial for me. I feel a lot better. And I'll say what really triggered me to think about this is back when I did this detail and all you could consume was fruits, vegetables, and they had to be raw. And if you did have a salad and you wanted some dressing, you could squeeze some lemon juice on it. And I'll say I did feel so much better. And also the only drink was water. It was pretty much plant-based and you could have nuts, like peanuts, sunflower seeds, cashews, almonds, but not a lot of it. And from that, I'll say I felt so much better. I felt my insides just really being flushed out. I felt so much more energized. I felt lighter and I did lose some weight as a result. So I do remember that. And my skin, my skin looked so good. It was so bright, so vibrant, just so flawless. My pores were minimized and I just really love that feeling. Now to stick to that type of diet, I know that that's most likely not gonna happen. I mean, I could do it if my life depended on it. If you even go into my refrigerator right now, there's no meat. If I know I'm going to have some seafood and I eat crab cakes and scallops, those are pretty much the only two, and shrimp I'll eat, salmon. I make sure if I have seafood, 
I'm gonna cook it that night or the next night and that's it. Other than that, I don't have any meat, any poultry in my refrigerator. And I do like to keep it that way. And that brings me along to the second topic I wanted to talk about. I know I've been talking about diet, but diet is very important. I wanna talk about it more in depth. And what you eat has a direct correlation with one, how you feel emotionally, how you look physically, and spiritually, emotionally, it really controls all of these. And I know there's proven research that shows a direct correlation with caffeine and your emotions. And a lot of times people drink coffee like as a pick me up, but maybe later down they feel like, uh, so sluggish. And that's just because caffeine, it can give you that rise, that lift, but then it's not sustainable and that is the type of lifestyle that I want to live and I know that there's certain foods that I had to cut out so I gradually did it like the first week and I knew it was good for my budget also I knew I wanted to move very soon so I need to save money because I would spend over a thousand dollars going out to eat so to be healthy I did go grocery shopping a lot more rather than a few times and I got food to really fill my refrigerator and I knew that I'm going to eat the food that is in my refrigerator I'm not going to go out and because I do work from home I'm able to have that luxury where I don't have to be tempted when I do go out and I really appreciate that and I do get the types of food that I will probably order if I went out anyway and that is what I do advise many of you to do because I I know it could be tough if you go to a nine to five or work retail, you're tempted to go to the food court or order out or take out and instead of, you know, getting something to bring from home. And I don't use a microwave because it has radiation and that's just not something I want. And also at Whole Foods, there are entrees that are already prepared for you. So all you have to do is heat it up and it is very healthy. Like they have grilled Brussels sprouts, potatoes, they have chili, they have soups, they have so many different types of foods. So when I do go to Whole Foods, I do like to get the black bean and quinoa chili. They did have a sweet potato one that I really love. They don't have it anymore. But I just opt to get more vegetable based products and I don't really eat meat anymore. I will go out and I'll have meat occasionally, but meat is not something that I'm consuming every day. Maybe once a week, once every other week, I will consume meat. I'm not against it, but I find that me not consuming meat a lot has really helped with feeling less fatigued, less bloated, also the dairy. I'm not consuming dairy. I have found ways to get around and to incorporate vegan alternatives. I don't even wanna say vegan alternatives, but more like a plant-based lifestyle. So that's kind of what I have incorporated a little by little, and I have found that it works really good for me and my lifestyle, I'm full, I'm not going hungry. And with that being said, topic number three, I wanted to talk about what a realistic day looks like for me, what I do. So today, for instance, I woke up, I had some water. So this is my second bottle of water, and water is so good. It really helps me to function a lot better. Also my body just to circulate and regulate a lot better. My bloodstream, like my circulatory, my nervous system. Water really helps your body to function really good. And I make sure the first thing that I consume when I wake up is water. I drink about maybe like this much of water and then I'll go to have my fruit. And this is my second bottle for the day and it is currently five o'clock, so I'm doing pretty good. I am gonna drink another one, but this bottle has 50.7 ounces and I try to drink at least half my body weight in ounces a day. So right now I'm 210 pounds, so that means I could drink two and just a little bit more. But so if I know I'm going to the gym that day, I aim to drink three of these. Next, I will have a bowl of fruit. That really helps me to get the day going. I wanna start with fruit. I feel that fruit for me is very energetic. It's a natural sugar and there's a little bit of controversy. I know within my comments alone, people were saying that fruit is sugar, it's natural sugar. It's not artificial and like you're adding sugar into something. So I find that fruits, they work good for me and I will continue to do so. But typically, if it's a bowl, I have blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, strawberries. So the berries will go in and I try not to to mix my fruit so if I don't have any berries then I'll have orange then wait a little bit have a banana have mangoes I love maybe have a couple kiwis whatever I will have just to make sure that I do stay nice and full and I'm not really just eating just because that is 
a very bad mistake just to eat when you're not hungry I make sure that I don't do that now there is a difference if you do eat because you haven't really been eating and you need to get your nutrition but if you're just eating like globs of food just for the sake of it that I wouldn't recommend to do that so after I have my fruit whatever it is that day I will drink some more water and then later if I want I can have some oatmeal and then for lunchtime I will have something hearty so lunch is going to be my biggest meal of the day I find that that works very good for me because I still have the energy to burn it off during nighttime if I eat later at night I try not to even if I'm working out because it could be too much on my stomach to eat before I work out and then afterwards I feel like you know kind of like I'm not doing my body justice so I will have my biggest meal for lunch and that could be chili it could be salad I make sure that I have a lot of vegetables and then I have an entree like if I was in a restaurant so if I have my scallops or crab cakes or chili I have soup I have maybe a pizza there's this pizza by Amy's it's their roasted vegetable there's no cheese on it I really love it so good so these are the types of foods I will eat and then later on I may have my snack now I have a big sweet tooth but it definitely has subsided ever since doing this because before I would eat snacks on snacks like candy cookies cookies chocolate and I'm still drinking my water by the way I want to make sure that every day I'm drinking at least two to three bottles of this and just drinking with every meal also throughout the day ensures that I do get through this because I know it could be hard to get that water in, especially if you're not used to drinking water frequently but I make sure that I do drink it and I'll tell you it has made a big difference with mental clarity with my skin with how I feel just lighter going to the bathroom flushing the toxins out and just eating better it just has made a difference and I do have two snacks after lunch and before dinner so it really depends on what I'm in the mood for so one snack will be a sweet because I have a sweet tooth so it can be maybe two three cookies it could be like a little chocolate bar I do like the Lake Chamberlain their chocolate bars those are pretty thick and dense and then there's other chocolate bars that I get from Whole Foods that I really like so I try to have no more than this much like I'll say like they have these rectangles and I'll maybe have like the whole row I'll have something like that I'm not gonna eat the whole bar of chocolate I just want to have a little bit of sweetness and then for my other snack I may have some guacamole some salsa pico de gallo and some chips and the chips that I have they're not bad either they're not like a Lay's or Utz potato chips I'll have the picture right here also there's some chips that I do get at Whole Foods they're kale chips those are pretty good as well or I'll have something pretty light like that and then for dinner I try to keep it pretty light so it could be something similar to a lunch but predominantly more vegetables like salads if I didn't have a salad earlier so it really depends on what I will have for lunch and then I'll have something different for dinner but I'm still making sure that I get an adequate amount of vegetables and I do fill myself up like I'm not starving throughout the day and then I'll go to the gym But say I do go out because I do have a part-time job that I work once a week for four hours and it is at the mall and they do have a Nordstrom's there and I like the salmon and farro they have is so good and I'll also get the simple salad with the cilantro lime dressing that is amazing oh my gosh it tastes so so good that's kind of typically what I like to eat but I don't eat a lot of meat or a lot of seafood like on a daily basis I do have a couple of videos on going grocery shopping that shows you more of what I consume and it has helped me lose the weight which ties into number four which is exercise now lately I have been going to the gym a lot more so I will say four to five times a week good diet and good exercising will help you lose weight and has helped me lose a lot of weight and tone up too I'm already over halfway to my goals and I know that there's some pessimistic people out there about my videos and saying that I lost weight too quickly I'm gonna gain it back and I can rest assure you that I'm not gaining my weight back I'm not yo-yoing if I have gains like a pound or two that's if I really went hard that day like the previous day at the gym and I worked on my muscles now muscles weigh more than fat and also muscle helps to burn fat so sometimes if you see yourself going up on the scale and you're like oh my gosh what happened I worked out I bust my butt I was in there dancing sweating and worked out on the machines and now I'm gaining a pound or two just remember that that is your body adjusting and adapting to that muscle and muscle weighs more than fat so it could be the muscle it's almost like a checks and balance sheet with the county and because my birthday is in two months I'm giving myself the goal to lose either 40 pounds 
or size wise because I know muscle weighs more than fat to be a size 6 8 right now I'm a size 10 12 and I want to be like a size 6 8 I'll feel really good about myself so that would bring me to 170 pounds by my birthday and I think that's pretty doable the way that I've been going with my diet the exercise I already have videos with what I do at the gym I will also link that down below I will have a cheat meal once a week or twice I really try to keep it down to a minimum because I know it could be a slippery slope to going back to that type of lifestyle, but I am very strict on myself, at least till I get to where I want to be. I mean, I'm not going to let myself go by any means, by any measures. And when I reach my goal weight of 140 pounds, I am going to gift myself, this is going to be my congratulatory gift, a whole new wardrobe because I know that this is going to motivate me and my birthday is right before summer, my favorite season. So I know <laughs> I'm going to really keep a hold of this like I'm not letting this go I love the gym that I go to I love the classes I love the people I love the energy there I also love the variety of machines that they do have my children go there they have an indoor outdoor pool I like the food at the cafe they do have a spa as well they have two basketball courts my oldest son he's really into basketball he's on the basketball team at his school so there's just a plethora of reasons why I'm going to stay at this gym all it boils down to is that hard work that dedication that motivation that planning out what are you going to do in order to achieve this goal it's not enough to just go to the gym and not know what you're going to do or just go and just think you're you could take one class a week and it's going to be sufficient because it's not you have to go to the gym you have to do the work and as many of you pretty much already know the more calories that you burn that day means the more weight you're going to lose so if you're eating fast foods every day a lot of greasy fries cheesy hamburgers and then you take one class a week that's not gonna do it it's not gonna cut it you need to really change your diet and this is why I opted for this lifestyle no I do not plan to do the keto because I feel like the keto is more like a destination diet and I say that because I feel like if you have somewhere to go somewhere to be where you need to be snatched and look then you could do the diet but for long term I don't think that it's for me because of the limitations. I love my mangoes, my kiwis, my bananas, apples, and just knowing that that's one of the rules you cannot do kind of out on my list but at the end of the day do what's best for you what is going to work for you I just know a lot of people that did keto and now they're not on keto and they have gained the weight back because the keto did not work for them it wasn't a sustainable lifestyle for me what I'm doing this is something I can implement every single day fill my fridge up I have nice clean meals and I have my two snacks a day and it works good for me this is a routine I have set and the proof is in the pudding it's right here many of you just want to know what I'm doing and this is it it's very simple but I will definitely say you have to stick to it and if you do have like two or three cheat meals when you're initially starting off don't feel bad just as long as you know where the prize is and like I said last time the prize is you keep your eyes on the prize you want to look good you want to feel good you know what it takes to achieve this you know that going out to eat and having food you shouldn't be eating is not going to do it for you this is not going to help you achieve your goals I know it could be very hard to start your fitness journey but trust me make a plan and also within that plan you have the food you're gonna eat the exercise that you're going to do you go to the gym and then you do it you check it off this is what I'm doing these are the foods that I'm not gonna eat or maybe I'll just have a cheat meal and eat this types of food maybe once a week twice max and I'm sticking to it I'm going to the gym three to four times a week I'm doing what works for me whether it's a lot of machines whether it's going to the classes whether it's the treadmill the stairmaster i'm going to do this so i would say for me at least an hour and a half to two hours i'm at the gym so i am putting in that hard work i am like a sweaty mess by the time i finish at the gym but i feel good especially the next day so i am closer to my goal i'm so happy i'm not starving myself i feel good i feel energized i feel motivated Mind you, I have four children and I'm able to work from home, film my content, and during the day I have my babies here with me. I'm able to watch them, do all my motherly duties. Also, I go to the gym. I mean, I am living proof. I'm a testimony that you can go to the gym, you can be a single mother, you can work from home, you could do all the above. It has worked tenfold all the way around. And I'm 5'9", by the way. Many people asked me in my last video and I know that does play 
an important role in how I look and what I want to stay in between, like a healthy weight versus an unhealthy weight, and also the muscle mass I want to stay in between that. So as long as I'm nice and healthy and fit, I am good. I know I've said a lot, but I'm going to leave these encouraging words with you today. And the saying goes, if you don't make a plan, you plan to fail. And I don't want to plan to fail. So every area in my life, I have a plan. And for my fitness journey, I plan to, one, become healthier. Two, I wanted to lose 150 pounds. I wanted to tone because back when I was 114 pounds, I was slim. Like very skinny but I wasn't really tone tone so I want to tone up or I wanted to gain my confidence back I will admit when I was heavier I wasn't dressing the way that I wanted to like especially now I just didn't feel like I had that femininity in me and that's just so sad to hear me say but that's for me I'm not saying there's anything wrong with being plus size as long as you are healthy but for me just seeing how I was before and just the type of clothes I wore, the heels and just the look I had before, I wanted to get back to that. That is what I ultimately wanted. And now that I am, you know, closer to that goal, I'm a lot happier, I'm healthier, I'm just, you know, living in bliss. This is exactly what I wanted to do. And also five, I'll just say, don't be too hard on yourself. You know, once you make a plan with what you're gonna do, you plan your, the foods that you're gonna eat, the foods that you're not gonna eat, and you do it, you stick to it, stick to the plan. And that's pretty much what I have to say. I feel that a lot of people, they may fall off with their diet and going to the gym because they don't stick to the plan. Maybe slowly but surely something comes in the way, then they stop going to the gym or they're doing this or they stop here at a fast food place of convenience. And even if you do go to a fast food restaurant or even a restaurant for that matter, get a healthier option that's better for you. And with repetition, it will become a lot easier. And I will definitely be making more updates on my fitness journey and how I'm losing more weight till I get to my goal and then how I'm going to maintain 140 pounds. I don't want to get any lower than 130 I think 130 pounds that's gonna be like my cutoff 140 is that sweet spot that I want to stay in I really hope that you enjoyed my video and look forward to seeing a lot more of my fitness journey my diet my exercise everything in between I'll be taking you to the gym again with me I'll be showing you more of what I eat in a day also my refrigerator going grocery shopping I know I am helping many of you out there and it helps me to know I'm helping you it makes me very happy and I'll see you in my next video Bye.